A strike by pilots at Taiwan's flagship carrier, China Airlines, has dragged into its third day. So far, the strike has resulted in 52 cancelled flights and affected more than 10,000 passengers. Another 28 flights are expected to be cancelled tomorrow. The Transportation Ministry said today that the carrier must shoulder its responsibilities and properly compensate travel agencies and travelers for their losses. Labor and management met yesterday for the first time since the strike began Friday. The carrier agreed to the union's request to assign four pilots to any flight longer than 12 hours. But the two sides clashed on the number of crew for shorter flights. The union insisted on three pilots for flights exceeding seven hours, while the carrier would only grant three for flights exceeding eight hours. We keep hoping that the company will rethink the issue of pilots' fatigue, but they're not budging, and that's where we're stuck. Neither side is giving in. Today they suddenly demanded that we add crew members, so now it's a matter of readjusting the flights, flight routes and flight network. This is the part that's still being negotiated. The strike entered its third day today, canceling 52 flights and affecting more than 10,000 travelers. Under pressure from the transportation ministry, China Airlines has come up with a compensation plan for passengers, promising no less than 100 U.S. dollars each per day. Travel agencies should be compensated based on their actual losses. As for individual passengers, the airline's vice president mentioned today that the compensation won't be lower than what was paid during the flight attendant strike, which was 100 U.S. dollars a day. With no end in sight to the strike and mounting demands for compensation, China Airlines is certain to face more turbulence ahead.